In this lesson, you will learn how to pre-flight the FMC. FMC pre-flight lets other systems use FMC data. The pre-flight starts with the identification or ident page and continues in this sequence through the takeoff reference or takeoff ref page. The N1 limit page is used to select reduced climb thrust. After power up, the FMC shows the ident page. Let's look at the ident page. First, make sure the airplane model and engine rating are correct. Next, check to see if the navigation database is correct. There are two navigation databases stored in the FMC. In this example, the active database can be used from October 31st to November 28th and the inactive database can be used from November 29th to December 27th. The FMC uses the active database for its calculations. In this example, the current date is not within the active database dates. The FMC shows the scratchpad message, Nav Data Out of Date. Clear the scratchpad. Next, change the navigation database. Make a copy of the inactive database date in the scratchpad, then put it in the active database line. You have changed the active database. The ident page preflight is complete. During the preflight, you use this line select key to move through the preflight pages. Next, show the position initialization or pause init page. The last position line shows the position the FMC calculated when power was removed at the end of the last flight. Put the departure airport in the reference airport line. Enter the data as shown and select the correct key. The FMC shows the airport reference point coordinates from the navigation database. Next, put the gate identifier in the gate line. The FMC shows the coordinates for the gate. You should use the most accurate position available to align the IRSs. In this example, the gate position is the most accurate. Put the gate position in the set IRS position line. The IRS can now complete alignment. You can also put in the position manually. In this example, you do not know a gate identifier, but you know the latitude and longitude coordinates of your position. To put in the coordinates, include the latitude and longitude numbers, letters, and decimals. Do not put in spaces. Put the coordinates in the scratch pad, then put them in the set IRS position line.
The pause init page is complete. Show the root page. The next step in the FMC preflight is to put in the flight plan route. Root page entries are discussed in a different lesson. To save time, I'll put in the route for you. The route is loaded. Show the performance initialization or perf init page. You use the perf init page to put in airplane and route data for performance calculations. Make sure fuel agrees with your fuel quantity indicators. You can put in the gross weight or the zero fuel weight. Use zero fuel weight for more accurate FMC performance calculations. To put in weights, divide the number by 1000. Put in the zero fuel weight. The FMC calculates the gross weight. Put in reserve fuel. The FMC uses the cost index to calculate economy climb and cruise speeds. It is a number supplied by dispatch. The cost index adjusts the relationship between the cost of fuel and the other costs of airplane operation. In general, the higher the cost index, the faster the economy climb and cruise speeds. Put in the cost index. The FMC calculates a recommended minimum cost cruise altitude. Put in the cruise altitude from the dispatch data. After all data lines with boxes are complete, the execute light illuminates. The data is not active or used by the FMC until you push execute. You can put in the cruise wind and cruise altitude temperature data to improve the FMC predictions for your flight. The FMC uses this information to adjust your climb, cruise, and descent. Complete the remaining data lines. Enter this data into the correct line. Enter the data as shown and select the correct key. Execute. Active is in the title to show that the perfinit data is used by the FMC. The perfinit page preflight is complete. Next, show the takeoff ref page. The FMC calculates takeoff thrust for the engines. This is the thrust used by the auto throttle. Make sure that takeoff shows on the thrust mode display. Takeoff means full rated takeoff thrust will be used. Select the takeoff flap setting. The selected flap setting will allow the FMC to compute the V-speeds based on the current gross weight. The FMC calculates V-speeds for the takeoff. Enter the center of gravity CG. The CG will allow the FMC to compute the takeoff trim setting. These lines help you show pages that are not complete. In this example, the perfinit page is not complete. Use the line select key to show the perfinit page. The execute light is illuminated. All page data is complete, but the data is not active. Execute. Next, show the takeoff ref page to see if the FMC preflight is complete. 
The FMC preflight is complete. We will discuss takeoff shift in a different lesson. You decide to do a reduced thrust takeoff and climb. Show takeoff ref page 2. The FMC can calculate reduced takeoff thrust for the auto throttle. You select reduced takeoff thrust on this page. A runway analysis or other approved airline performance data is necessary to calculate the reduced thrust takeoff or climb entry. For this example, the analysis is done. First, let's discuss the selected temperature or assumed temperature thrust reduction. These data lines on page 2 also show on N1 limit page 1 of 1. You normally put in the assumed temperature on page 1, but it can also be put in on page 2. Put the assumed temperature and the selected temperature line. Enter this data into the correct line. If you put in an assumed temperature that is more than the outside air temperature by a large enough quantity, the FMC calculates a lower takeoff thrust limit for each engine. The takeoff N1 data line heading shows reduced. The FMC commands a reduced takeoff thrust to the auto throttle. The thrust mode display shows reduced takeoff to show that reduced takeoff thrust is selected. The reference N1 bugs do not change. They still show the full rated takeoff thrust value. Next, delete the assumed temperature. The FMC commands full rated takeoff thrust to the auto throttle. There are three optional entries available on takeoff ref page 2. Entry of these options refines the FMC performance management. Enter runway wind direction and speed here. Enter runway slope here. Valid entries for slope are U or plus for up and D or minus for down slopes followed by the percent gradient. Runway conditions for dry, wet, or skid-resistant wet runways are entered here. Climb thrust reduction altitudes are entered here. Default thrust reduction altitude is 1500 AGL.